Hello, I'm Fazia Ibrahim. Some of the stories we're covering here on Al Jazeera. North Korea says it will suspend a non-aggression deal and a hotline with South Korea. Now, this follows the approval of more UN sanctions imposed on Pyongyang in response to its nuclear tests last month. It's likely that Kenya's presidential election will go to a second round runoff. The latest results show Uhuru Kenyatta is in the lead, but short of the 50% of votes needed to win outright. Osama bin Laden's spokesman and son-in-law has been arrested and charged with conspiracy. Soleiman Abu Ghaith is being held in New York, where he'll be prosecuted for his alleged role in the September 11 attacks. Italy's former Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi has been convicted of illegally publishing transcripts of wiretapped conversations in one of his newspapers. The court handed the 76-year-old a one-year prison sentence, but it's unlikely the media tycoon will serve any jail time. And people from all over Venezuela are making the journey to attend the funeral of Hugo Chavez on Friday. On Wednesday, Hugo Chavez's body was moved from hospital to a military academy he considered to be a second home. The government has confirmed Chavez's body will be embalmed and put on permanent display after his funeral on Friday. And you can find the latest on all those stories and more at aljazeera.com.